let's take a look at how you'd plot vectors in Maple. So suppose we had these three problems. Plot the vector 1 minus 1, 1. Plot the same vector, but starting at the point 2, 2, 2. And then the plot the vector 2, 2, 2 together with this vector and their sum to illustrate the vector sum rule. Now, to do any kind of plotting in Calc 3, the first thing you want to type is with plots. And that will just load a suite of special plotting packages. Now, the basic command for drawing an arrow in either two dimensions or three dimensions is, well, arrow. That's our vector command. And so the syntax for, say, plotting the vector 1, minus 1, 1, is just to type arrow, 1, minus 1, 1. And when you run this command, Maple will give you a big multicolored arrow right here. It won't give you any context, so if you want to go and see the axes, you can either uh, put them in after the fact. Here's the axis pointing around here, so a vector that goes one unit over in all three of the axes, starting from the origin. You can also go and put that into the command itself by typing in axes equals normal, and then the graph will load with them automatically. You can even go and add the phrase uh, labels equals x, y, z, so that the axes themselves will get properly labeled. So here's the x-axis right here, and there's the z-axis floating up right there, and the y-axis right here. So now I can orient the picture properly, and I see my vector 1 in the x, minus 1 in the y, 1 in the z. So what if we wanted to do the same vector, but we wanted to start it at a slightly different point, at the point 2, 2, 2? It's actually pretty easy to modify this command. All you do is you just tell it the point you'd like it to start from first. So I would type in arrow 2, 2, 2, then arrow 1, minus 1, 1. And when I rerun the command, I'm now going to have the same vector as it was before. But I can see right here that the arrow is starting right there at the point. y equals 2, uh, the x value is 2, and the z value is 2. And then I can see that this arrow uh, goes one unit in the x direction, it drops one unit in the y direction, and it rises one unit in the z direction. So it literally is that correct vector. You can also do things like color code them. You can add phrases like color equals red in order to make a sort of solid looking color in case you don't want that little prismatic effect right here. So what if we want to go and now plot the vector 2, 2, 2? Well, the syntax for that is pretty easy. We type in arrow 2, 2, 2, semicolon, and there's that arrow right there. And in this case, the coloring is really bad on it. I can hardly see it. So let me color it blue temporarily. So there's what the arrow looks like. Now I can go and put the axis on, but I'd like to put these two arrows in the same plot. And so it worked great before. I could go and put the pointer, and I could grab the arrow and drop it. But you notice right here, it didn't drop the entire arrow. It only dropped the very, very tip. In fact, if I grab other pieces, like this part, and dump it in the picture, now I've got the arrow and its tip, but not the base of the arrowhead, which I'd have to drag and drop manually, and that's the very, very bottom of the arrow. So I could drag and drop all of those elements individually, and then color code them one at a time. That's pretty inefficient, actually. And that's just a part of how Maple stores these vectors. It stores them not as a single entity, but as really four parts. So let's try a more efficient solution. Let me rerun this first command, where I got my red arrow, and I'll rerun my second command, where I had the blue arrow. There's an easier way to get the two pictures together than dragging and dropping. All we do is we name this picture. Let me call this picture number one, colon equals. And it will disappear. And I'll call this one picture number two, colon equals. And then, to show them together, I just type in the phrase display, and I type in the names of the pictures I've named, picture 1 and picture 2. And now the two of them are shown on the same axes, and I can see this vector right there. Well, and that will make showing the third vector easy. The last arrow that we need to plot will be the sum of, well, let's see, the sum of 1 minus 1, 1, and 2, 2, 2 would be 3, 1, 3. So let me plot that arrow, 3, 1, 3. And I'll color this one green. So there's the plot. I'm going to name it real fast. Let me call this pick 3. And now I'll go back up to my display command, and I'll have this third picture displayed. And there I can actually see that the green vector is the sum of the blue vector and the red vector, since it runs from the tail of one vector to the tip of the other. So there's the very, very basics of plotting vectors using Maple.